our Health Watch this morning, the battle against cancer gets personal. A new story in U.S. News & World Report tells of an amazing discovery that could make cancers perhaps curable, at the very least treatable. All that by the year 2040. Dr. Zihi Emanuel is an oncologist and bioethicist at the National Institutes of Health, where much of this work is being done. You're here to help put this all in perspective for us, because it certainly sounds great. Uh, yeah. I have to say, being from, a, being from a family with a lot of cancer, you want every little bit of hope you can find. This is called the Genome Atlas Project. Basically, you, map, you can map every cancer gene here for personalized treatment, and it, and it has been shown to work with some breast cancers. Well, the goal here is to identify the genes that have gone wrong in a cancer, and then to target those genes. And you're right, we have identified in a variety of cancers genes that have gone wrong. For example, in chronic myelogenous leukemia, there is one gene that's gone wrong, They've identified it, and they've developed drugs to target that gene. And then while it's not a cure for that disease, it is a very good treatment, prolongs life, and uh, at a very high quality of life. And, and I think a lot of people would be happy just to have that treatment. So realistically, how close are, there, are we then to making perhaps most cancers at least treatable, if not curable, by 2040? Well, this is science, so it's unpredictable. It's, <laughs> if it were predictable, it would be engineering. Uh, and because it's science, sometimes we overpromise and it doesn't work out so easily and sometimes discoveries happen and things get done a lot faster than anyone had anticipated. So I like to be a little sober and not overpromise. Uh, therefore, uh, I, I would take it with a little grain of salt. Okay. Are there any cancers that perhaps uh, may be more treatable using this type of, of research than others? Any that are easier to map out, I should say? Well, we don't know yet, but okay. certainly, as you mentioned before, uh, in addition to chronic myelogenous leukemia, there's also breast cancer, where they have identified this HER gene, and uh, they do have, again, a very good drug that targets it, and women who get it right after they've been diagnosed uh, as part of their chemotherapy, uh, a lot of women are cured uh, in that circumstance. So there are cases where it really is possible to identify mm -hmm. the gene and get a targeted therapy. And that cocktail is almost like sort of what we hear about in managing HIV. We, we have a cocktail of drugs to manage HIV and AIDS. So does that mean that perhaps in some of these cases it could replace treatments like radiation or chemotherapy? Well, the, these are chemotherapy drugs. Okay. They're drugs targeted against the cancer. And what people are looking at is maybe you'll take three or four drugs targeted to the specific gene defect that okay. you have in your cancer. I know you want to, um, we, we want to sort of under promise because then we can over deliver, which Correct. is good. But, but we should point out great strides have been made really just since the fight against cancer started 30, almost, almost 40 years ago. So, so give us an idea, how far have we come? Oh, well, we know a lot of the defects that go, that make cells turn into cancer cells, and we know how they disrupt the cells, uh, the workings of the body. Uh, we're trying to now understand how they evade the immune system and how they can go to other places. So we've made a huge amount of progress mm -hmm. in understanding. The gap between understanding how it works and exactly curing it, that's the real big gap that we need to but break. every little step so important. Now, on, on a related note, I have to say congratulations are in order. You've had a pretty big week on a, on a personal level. Your brother, Ron Manuel, is going to be the chief of staff for uh, Barack Obama. Any plans to uh, perhaps offer up some medical advice at 1600 <laughs> Pennsylvania Avenue? Uh, that would be great, but it, we're really proud of Ron. He's just, uh, he's the right man for the job. Uh, I don't know that he wants the job because it's probably the hardest job in America at the moment. 20 hour days, uh, no vacations. Not easy. But, yeah. But we're looking forward to him having a hand in really bringing the country back. Great. Any chances you'll uh, <laughs> make your way to the inauguration, you think? <laughs> I don't Too know. soon to well, tell. Probably. Right, You've right. probably got a lot of family talking to do. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, great to have you with us this morning. Thank, Thank you, you very again, much. Doctor. All right, for more on treating cancer, uh, go to our partner in health coverage. You can find that at WebMD.com. Just search for cancer.